All right, guys, I'm in Lightroom Mobile today. Gavin Syme here, and we're going to look at how to edit batches because it's pretty amazing what we can do these days in Lightroom. Now, you can come in here. You have all the settings. We can control the settings just like we can in the Lightroom desktop, all the fundamental develop settings. But these are actual mobile images. Let's go to my Mobi collection. I'm just going to apply a preset because these actually are phone images, and these are specialized for that. So I'm going to apply this. It looks good. Let's now take this and copy it. So if we look at this, let's go up to the three dots on the corner and you can see I can go down here to copy settings and I can select whatever I want to copy. I'm going to leave crop and stuff alone and I'm going to click that check mark up in the upper right and click copy. Let's go back to the grid. Now I can click the three dots again at the top and go into select mode or on most phones I can just press and hold on an image and go to select mode and I'm just going to select all the images I want to edit this whole top row for now. All right, then let's go to the three dots again and just go to where it says paste settings and everything I did on that first image now I'm just going to click this and it's going to say hey is this what you want to do Are you sure and I'm going to say yep and it's going to apply all of those just like that and boom now if, if I was editing raw files because you can totally edit your raw files in Lightroom mobile as well files from other cameras I'd probably use something like Filmist or something like that manual tweaks but these work great on these mobile photos here because of these tiny sensors these presets are optimized for it and it's it's really looking good here but the main thing is that whatever settings we do we can copy paste, two images, 200 images, 2,000 images, and you can really do this kind of batch workflow right here on the mobile that's all synced up and looking really good. I'll put some links if you guys want some of these presets. There's me. Looks like I need to trim my beard. We'll see you next time, and we'll see you in the comments. Peace out.